but you can eat the birds. Get him quick! Get him 
on the earth. Uh -huh. Pastor did a, a, I guess you call that Bible study. Uh -huh. That's preaching to me. Right. I mean, we're going to get more of that. But he's talking about the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. And how when you are saved, you enter into the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. And now, what do we want? What does God want us to do while we're in the kingdom of heaven? He wants us to bring him much fruit. Uh -huh. Much fruit. Uh -huh. By the time you walk out of the day, you know a lot about a vine. Vineyard and uh, grow itself. All right. All right. Yeah. You're going to know about cutting stuff. Uh -huh. And you're going to know about what it takes to grow some yeah. stuff. Yeah. Right. John chapter 15. Mm -hmm. Now I'm reading out of the NIV. I hope that's all right.
are the branches. Right, We're this extension of God, of Christ on the earth. Yeah, all right. In Genesis, he says, let us make man in what? Right. And I'll come on, church, in our age. Right. And they will have dominion over the earth. Right. Kingdom. Kingdom. Kingdom.
Let me say it again. Purging is not punishment. Right. Why is God punishing me? All right. No. All right. You see that? You see that you're doing good. Yeah. All right. And you say, you know what? You're doing this much. Let me purge your life and I can get more out of your life. All right. All right. So the purging is not punishment. Uh, it's preparation. Right. All right. How many people love Joseph? All right. Genesis chapter 37.
Wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. Alright. You know how long that journey should have took them? Alright. 11 days. Yeah. Alright. To the promised land. Yeah.
if our children don't value the principles of God, Christianity is a generation from existence. It's a generation from being It's supposed to be there. Yeah, uh, yeah. So he could easily say, yeah, yeah, I know there's no 
that you try to cover up with everything else in your life. God says, I want fruit from that. Everybody with me? All right. So that, means, that leads me to believe and to know that God wants fruit from the good. Somebody say good. good. The bad. bad. And you know the last one. Good. And the ugly. Yeah, right. He wants fruit from the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right. All right. Now some of this ugly is not looks. People in here that your childhood, there's some terrible things that happened to you. Uh-huh. There's people that you know or you yourself, you've been molested, mm-hmm. tormented, right. abused, mm-hmm. wrote off, forsaken, mm-hmm. everything. All right. And it's left you with no fruit. All right. And God comes back to your life. Says, I want fruit from that. All right. Yeah. And every time he puts his hand on it, it All hurts right. you. All right. You don't want to go there. All right. You don't want to think about it. All right. It drives you in other areas. Right. For some people, it's driving you in our relationships. Yeah. All right. It's driving you right. for money in all the wrong ways.
and then you can draw that line too. But you're trying to communicate, you're trying to connect with them and say, you know what, son? I did the same thing. But this is where it got me. And that's why I'm on you so you don't go that way. Wow, Dad. I never thought about you. thought that about you. Now you know. Everybody with me? My point is this. Give your children about when I was in the, in the military. And she's like, that's you? Because uh -huh. she never pictures me being nothing but what she see right now. Right. She don't see me as, she, don't, she can't see me as a sinner. Uh -huh. She can't see me as a womanizer. She can't see me as all those things. Uh -huh. But I sit her down and I say, you know what? I know all about that because I used to be that. All right, all right, yeah. But see, daddy ain't like that no more. Right. Because Jesus came into my life.
he remembers it for his sake. He's asking us to forgive and don't go back to it for our sake. That will start the process of you building fruit in your life all over again. So you have something to offer to God when he comes knocking at your door looking for fruit. God, I forgave them. I pray for them that you bless them and you need the prayer. All right. All right. Prosper their life. All right. And reach it. Uh huh. That's true, amen? All right. So, we're going to pray. But I'm going to trigger your minds. If there's sin in your life, God says those branches need to be cut off. He also says, as you are following me, allow me to prune your life uh, so I can get more out of your life. Yeah, right. And then he says, abide in me. Mm -hmm. Abide in me. Mm -hmm. Because you can do nothing without me. All right. There's one more truth. That Jesus, when he woke up one morning, he saw a fig tree. Totally different tree. Mm -hmm. And he went to that tree to get some fruit from it. Anybody know this story? And then right. find it. Right. And he said, he cursed that tree. Uh -huh. He cursed the tree. The disciples said, man, I don't man, he was really hungry, man. Sometimes you reread the word and you get something fresh. What Jesus saw, catch this, what Jesus saw was an optical illusion. Everybody know what an optical illusion is? An optical illusion is something you see, but it ain't nothing. It ain't really what it's supposed to be. And he cursed that truth. There's people in here right now, you're following optical illusions. All your life. All right. People saying, oh, baby, baby, I got you, baby. I'm going to take care of you. All of this me and you. It's an optical illusion. Yeah. He ain't what he's saying he is. Right. He looked like it, but he ain't it. Yeah. Call him that. All right. Cut that relationship off. All right. Is this too strong? No. All right. All right. <laughs> There's Girl, I love you. Oh, I have you. You're the one. You're the bomb. Oh, I just want to be me you. Yeah. <laughs> For about a week. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. He's an optical illusion. Yeah. All right. Cut him off. Yeah. All right. Man, you got the skills, man. You could be making like two thousand dollars a day. That don't even sound. Do the right thing. All right. Do the right thing. All right. 
giving God fruit in your life. Uh -huh. He cannot get fruit out of sin. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen? He can only get fruit mm -hmm. out of righteousness. Right. Let's bow our heads. Right. Father, I felt your presence, God. Mm -hmm. The moment I woke up this morning. You have your hand on this church. While every head is bowed and every eye is closed, like God, I pray you minister to hearts. Right. Touch right now, God. Yeah. Change All right. the direction mm -hmm. of their hearts. All right. All right. While every head is bowed and every eye is closed, All right. can we go to work? All right. Can we go to spiritual work? There's things in your life right now. That are not bringing fruit to God. Uh -huh. You need to cut them off. Right. They're sin in your life. All right. All right. It is what's stopping you. Uh -huh. You sit here today, but in your heart you say, I am not right with God. All right. Oh, you are in the right place. Uh -huh. God says, Let me operate. All right. Let me cut some stuff off your life. All right. Get you on the right path. Today you need to get right with them. Mm -hmm. That that's you. Alright. Why your head is not there? I suppose I want you to lift your hand. Alright. I need to get right with God. Amen. I see you say. Right. Amen. Right. Praise God. I see these hands. Alright. Amen. Praise God. I see these right. hands. Get it right with God. Alright. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God sees your heart. Mm -hmm. And he knows you need it. Alright. He knows you need it. One more thing I ask you to do, this is not to embarrass you, we need family here. All right. We need to pray. All right. We need to pray for you. Uh-huh. If you raise your hand, I want you to look at everybody. Everybody else here is bowed and praying. Alright. If you raise your hand, I want you to look at me. Look at me. Uh -huh. Look at me. Amen. Right. Hey, you meant that, man. You right. meant that. God bless you. You meant that. Alright. You meant that, man. Mm -hmm. Somebody over here, you meant that. All right. You meant that. That is all over your life right now. Alright. I want you to. Just don't pray. Say, don't hurt. This is kingdom business right here. All right. Amen. All we're going to do is pray. All right. Amen, brother. All right. Amen. God, man, I'm shaking. Man, this makes me want to move back here. All right. We just don't pray. All right. And we're going to just anoint your head with oil. Mm -hmm. I want you to say this prayer. Right. Say, dear God. I know I'm a sinner. I know right now I'm away from you. But right now, I make a decision to come to you and allow you Come into my heart right. and be my Lord and Savior. Right. I turn away from this world right, right now. Right now. Say you are liar. Right. You have no hold on my life. Right. I'm giving my life right. to God. Right. God, right. thank you right. for giving me another chance. Right. For coming. In a moment, in a twinkle of an eye, I receive this gift of salvation. And from this day forward, I make a choice to live for you. I pray you show me how. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to lift your hands. We want to pray for you.
May her past be her testimony, God. Change it, Lord God, right now. You know it's hard. You know it. You know it's like God. You have the power to change it. In the name of Jesus, touch her right now, God. Bless her, God. You're healing her right now, God. You're healing her right now. Heal in the name of Jesus. Touch her. Touch her body, God. Heal her in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Touch her, young man. Her young man, God. Change.
pray your hand be with us as we depart from this place, but never from your presence. Pray God bless you with you. In Jesus' name.
lines and on a team. And we want to get them to be his uniform. Amen. We are members here. Amen. We love them. We want them to know we love them. Amen. So we are the ones that help them out. Amen. So we're not, we're not going to pitch y'all today. Amen. Just do what you can. If you don't have that, don't do that. And don't talk about it. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Ain't these some beautiful young folks? Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all.